one nail today. I think I'm gonna do Christmas nails. Stay tuned. I'm gonna start by um, wiping down my nail surface just in case I have any um, oils or debris or polish. I'm gonna wipe it completely off. I'm gonna use some acetone and a cotton swab. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take my uh, cuticle pusher and I'm gonna push my cuti cuticle completely back. Gently, you don't have to do this too um, hard. You can just do it uh, slowly and gently. Okay, now that I have completely removed my cuticle and pushed back whatever's on my nail surface or my nail bed, I'm gonna go ahead and sand my natural nail with a sanding bit. This is a medium grit sanding bit um, on a very low speed. You don't have to do this on a fast speed. Now when I'm done uh, sanding, ban sanding down my natural nail bed um, with a clean napkin, a clean piece of napkin, I'm going to completely wipe off the nail bed from, uh, so that all that nail powder can come off. I know a lot of nail techs use um, these brushes, but I don't recommend that you guys use these since these are very dirty and they touch everybody's hands. Um, so don't use these on a customer. I only use this one to clean the table Just go ahead with a clean uh, piece of napkin just wipe them all down There we go, we're ready to um, glue on our nail tips um, I am going to be using a natural nail so 
let's get started gluing the tips. Usually for my pink, I always start on my pinky and that is like an eight. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and cut my nails with the tip cutter. Um, I want them short because if not, I can't work. So I'm gonna do them like a sports cut, guys. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and measure my nails. They should all be the same length. This one's a little bit longer, so I'm gonna cut it a little bit. to unglue them from the sides and I'm going to do them squared so I'm going to make sure to shape them with my nail file before I apply my acrylic so that when I do apply my acrylic um, I have like a smooth application. Okay, next I'm going to go in with my sanding band and I'm going to completely take off the glue from the nail bed. I don't know if you guys can see the shiny part on the natural nail. That's all glue. All of that needs to be removed. Oh my gosh, it's reversed. Hold on, let me switch it back to forward. Um, all of that needs to be removed. Just gently. You guys don't have to go in and press too much. It's just going to come right off. Um, and also, at the same time, blend your natural nail. I mean, I'm sorry, bend the tip to the natural nail. Blend the tip to the natural nail. Oh my God. Okay, when I'm done removing all of the glue, I'm gonna go back with my napkin, guys, remember. 
You have to use a clean napkin. Don't use anything else to clean your nails off. Especially don't touch your nail with, um, don't touch your nails with your own fingers. Remember your fingers, your fingers have oils and you will put that oil back onto the surface of your nail and what's gonna happen with your acrylic? It's going to pop off. We don't want that. Okay. These are ready to dehydrate, prime, and then do our acrylic application. Okay, I usually use Easy Flow um, everything. The only thing I don't use um, Easy Flow is my primer. My primer is a C and D. So go ahead and dehydrate your nails. Okay, for acrylic application, I always like to make sure to use new acrylic. Um, I will be doing the application in clear because I'm going to be putting shellac on my nails. I'm going to do like um, like a Christmas, like a candy cane for Christmas and maybe like a white nail, a red nail, a green nail. Just Christmassy. Um, before anything, guys, I um, this is the nail brush that I use, um, the number eight. I always like to make sure that my nail brush is clean, and it always is, so it's always um, soft. I never have a, a hard nail brush, so make sure you clean it with acetone before and after every service. Okay, what I like to do is, these nails are short. I usually like to do a three, um, three ball method. So I'll put the first ball at the tip, the second bead or ball at in the middle, and then the third one towards the cuticle. But since these nails are short, I'm gonna go ahead and do just two. So I'll be placing the first one here and then the second one there. Uh, make sure to uh, burp your nail brush. Take out all the air bubbles. And what I like to do is I like to take the excess off of one side and then I will dip on the other side where you still have monomer I will dip that side into the um, the clear acrylic just gently guys you don't have to pick up too much I'll go ahead and place my bead here in the middle make sure it's saturated and not too drippy uh, and then just mold it into the tip okay Make sure that you're always holding your finger downward so that the product doesn't move back to the cuticle. Alright, this should be an even application. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing, but I'm going to pick up an even smaller bead for the cuticle. Alright, one, two, three. Make sure it's completely saturated. Place it in the middle and then work it back with your brush. And then just bring it down. Make sure you're cleaning your sides. Don't be sloppy with your acrylic because if you're sloppy, you're gonna have a lot to file. I always like to go around my cuticle with my brush to ensure I have a nice sealed cuticle. I, I don't know why there's glitter on my brush, guys, but a little bit of glitter. Do you guys see that?
<laughs> okay, don't forget to clean your brush afterwards. 100% acetone or a, bl a brush cleaner. I've never used a brush cleaner before, but I have used 100% acetone and it works just fine. Make sure your bristles are clean. Flatten your brush. And put it away. Okay, next I'm going to file with my hand file. This is like a 180 and a 100 um, grit file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unstick the acrylic from the sides of my nail first. And then I'm going to go in there and shape. The shape is already pretty good, so I just have to file a little bit, not too much. Make sure it's very, very up straight. Okay, so after this, I'm going to go ahead and finish my video with only this because I ran out of storage space. Um, so stay tuned to my next video, guys.